Sunspots are in the category of the active sun because we have figured out that they come and go because the magnetic fields on the surface of the sun are always changing. So magnetic fields are actually the cause of sunspots. How does that work? Well, let's go to this picture. Here, these blue lines are showing me where I'd have a magnetic field line coming up out of the bottom of the sun, up through the surface of the sun, and magnetic field lines would loop around again and have to go back down in and reconnect to themselves. So any magnetic field line that comes out of the sun also has to go back into the sun, just like every magnet has to have a north pole and a south pole, and the lines have to connect between the north pole and the south pole of the magnet. So what does this magnetic field do to the gases in the sun? Remember the gases in the sun are very hot. It's like what I called before a plasma. They've got charged particles in them. And charged particles are redirected by magnetic fields. So when this gas is trying to rise from the convection zone, the gas is trying to move up along the direction of these magnetic field lines, but the magnetic field line can redirect that gas off to the side. And that way, that gas is not going to reach that point on the surface where you've got a strong magnetic field. So if less gas is reaching the surface, then less heat is reaching the surface. And if you don't have as much heat, you've got a spot that's cooler on the surface. And cooler is always darker. And that's why it's going to be dark and make what you call a sunspot. We'll come back to this picture at one point, and I'm going to remind you that this diagram shows if you have a sunspot here and a magnetic field line also has to go back down into the surface, then you should also have a magnetic field over there creating another sunspot, shouldn't you? All right, that's for later. But this is a nice theory. What we should do with a theory is go and look for evidence that it's true. So how are we going to do that? Can we actually measure magnetic fields on the surface of the sun? And the answer is yes, because of something that comes from spectroscopy, something called the Zeeman effect. When we looked at spectra in class, we held up diffraction gratings and we looked at a tube of hydrogen which was lit up. And we saw from the tube of hydrogen that was lit up that the colors that were making the color in the tube of hydrogen would split up into different colors that hydrogen emits, like red, reds and greens and blues. They would come out in order from the tube as blue and green and red. So if we did the same thing by pointing a diffraction grating at the surface of the sun to look at the spectra, maybe if there was a place like right here there was a big sunspot, and then here there was a little sunspot, and here there's a little bit slightly bigger sunspot, then we took a look with our diffraction grating at the spectrum, it would take the light from the sunspots and the surface of the sun and spread it out into the colors of the spectrum so that we could see the colored lines that come from the spectrum. I know they're not colored in this picture. This picture is black and white, or black and green, I guess, okay? But this is supposed to be one particular wavelength of light that you see in the spectrum from the surface of the sun. And then this is the next color that you would see emitted from the surface of the sun. And the next colored line that you see from the surface of the sun. But here, where the original picture of the sun would have shown a big sunspot and a smaller one, and then one in between size, we see that when the spectrum spreads off in this direction, when it gets to this point, this line is split into three parts. That's just exactly what the magnetic field does if you hold it in the area of the gas that you're looking at with your diffraction grating. So magnetic field lines will split spectral lines from one into three. When we look at the region of sunspots here, we see this three-way split, which is telling us the Zeeman effect is happening right here. It's also happening with this one, but the lines are close together and they're kind of merged. But you see that it's broader. It's trying to show you three. And over here, the same thing is happening. It's just much fainter. So we see the Zeeman effect split 
happening in the part of the sun's surface where we see sunspots, but not in the part where there are no sunspots. So this means there are stronger magnetic fields near the places where sunspots are. That's pretty good evidence for that theory that we were just talking about.